So if you're looking forward to a custom ROM, Axion AOSP is one of the options which you definitely have to consider because that brings you something amazing which most of the custom ROMs actually does not provide you. This is Axion AOSP latest version which is 2.2.1 uh, but if you're looking forward to QPR1 update based on Android 16, so far in this custom ROM it's not available yet, might be available soon for now it's not there but with this new update which are the things you get, for example the new updater UI. Maybe it's a it's a very useful thing for some, for some it might not be, but it is available, it is included, so just wanted to let you know. So now you can install this custom ROM and if you're looking forward to update it through OTA, you can obviously do that previously too, but with the new updater UI, new material expressive UI, new animations, also you can see the change log, what's included in this new update and so on, so that's a good thing. Even you can adjust the preferences, which I guess is inspired from Lineage OS. So things are kind of same with the new UI, new tweaks, etc. So on. Including this, if we move on to the spoofing options, you will find some more options like fetch latest Google beta play integrity fix, update from repository, select JSON file and so on. If you click on fetch latest beta play integrity fix, that might fix play integrity for you. But remember one thing that all the play integrity fixes kind of things are temporary. Sometimes those things work, sometimes does not. Let me tell you one thing. For example, in this case, I tried today. So it, I just tried this play integrity fix once. As you can see, basic, no device, no strong, which is okay. If you move on to update from repository, you can try out this one. This might work for you. In this case, like in this, in my case, something is not working for you. That does not mean it will not work for you too. In this case, I tried the GitHub option. This does not work for me at all. But one thing which I tried, which I tried in my previous videos also, like this key box option, it is included in this custom room also. So what we can do is we can simply move on to these options. At the bottom, we have key box XML file option available. So I'll simply choose that key box XML file, which I just downloaded right away. Simply move on here, click this, it's done. Let me see this play integrity app now. And if I click on check, I will see three green ticks. So no issues at all. So passing play integrity is not a big deal, especially if your custom ROM has the key box load option available, then no worries. If something in bit is not working for you, it's completely okay. One more thing is if you're a gamer, if you love to play games, game space is already included from some time as you know, but this does bring you some very useful things as compared to many other custom rooms out there. For example, I just tried here the UI. UI has been changed. It is there from some time now. It's not only part of this new update, but it looks good. As you can see, we have a brightness slider, which is a new UI, which is actually having a new UI. These tiles and so on. You can change this profile. You can change a lot of things in this case. We also have some minor tweaks related to call UI. So whenever, it, whenever you get a call while playing games, you will see new pop-up UI and so on. So yes, things are quite exciting so far. Everything else is just kind of simple like XNOS is in case you are not aware of. This is one of the only few custom ROMs that brings you nothing OS vibes. That brings you literally almost everything inspired from nothing OS. We have icon pack customization, which is inspired from nothing OS. We have customization UI, we have app grid option, system icons, everything new as compared to many other custom ROMs out there. We have fonts customization where you also have the option to choose a custom font. So if you have your custom font available, you can choose that also. Icon shape customizations are there, lock screen you can customize, lock screen clock styles, lock screen widgets, even the latest nothing goes 4.0 clock widgets are also there and many, many more things. So definitely a worth it. You, you can give it, give it a try if you want to try it out on a device. This is XN AOSP latest version. These were things just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for many other custom room videos which are coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.